Hello from Mount Allison University. We are thrilled that you're considering pursuing a degree with us here. My name is Susie Andrews, and I'm a member of our Department of Religious Studies. In Religious Studies, we teach courses like religion and pop culture, uh, Buddhism. We have an exciting new program in community-engaged learning, where the region is our classroom. As a scholar of medieval East Asian religion, uh, I focus my work on the way that stories move throughout the territories we think of today as China, Japan, Korea. And in one of my most favorite classes, uh, Death in the Afterlife in Asian Religions, we use a range of primary sources to ask, what is death and what is a good death? Now, primary sources, as you know, are material created and circulated during the period that we're studying. And they might be a pair of shoes or a poem or a scripture. Today, let's just take a brief look at this rendering of the Bodhisattva Manju Shri. Now, we'll talk more in class together in the autumn uh, about uh, what it is to present, to make present a Buddhist deity in a tanka like this one. For now, let me just tell you a little bit about the Bodhisattva Manju Shri and the way the objects in Manju Shri's hands suggest what a good death entails. So Manju Shri is a highly perfected uh, Buddhist superhero, if you will, a Bodhi a Sattva, a being who is awakened to the nature of suffering and its cause, a Bodhisattva. And a Bodhisattva Manju Shri is associated in particular with wisdom, insight. That's why Manju Shri is such a good fit for Mount Allison University. Uh, in Manju Shri Bodhisattva's hands, you're going to see two objects. Now, if you're watching this at home, I want you to pause me and take a closer look. For now, let me help you out. You're going to see in one hand a sword and in the other a flower, a lotus. And it's in details like these in a 21st century tanka that comes from uh, the western region of uh, the highly contested territory that is China. Uh, it is in these details from the 21st century tanka that we get answers to the question, what is death? What's a good death? because uh, here we see a sword that, like Manju Shri, slices through ignorance. Ignorance that many Buddhists understand binds us to a cycle of death and birth, death and birth. As many of you likely know, right? Buddhists, Buddhists understand us to have lived many lives in the past and uh, they anticipate we'll li live more into the future. Right? And what leads us in the cycle of samsara is ignorance. Manju Shri, however, has made a vow to cut through ignorance and to help us wake up to the truth, the truth that's binding us, and then end our suffering in this cycle here. Death, then, might be a continuation for the Tanka, right? Uh, and for the Buddhists who created and circulated it, the lotus suggest something similar. Lotus, tradition tells us, can grow in the muck and mire, not unlike us, okay? The realm of samsara into which we are born and die repeatedly is, uh, samsara is a place of obstacles and disappointments and also it's the place where we can experience great joy. Okay, like the lotus that blooms in this, in this pond of, of, uh, of disappointment, right? We too, Buddhist tradition tells us, can wake up, wake up like Manju Shri and, and then bow to help other beings from tiny little earwigs to heavenly dwellers to hell, hell dwellers and back to human again. We can wake up to the nature of our existence and then vow to end the suffering of all other beings. That is the path of the Bodhisattva. That is the path of a good death for this Tanka 
and for some of the Buddhists, we'll study in death and the afterlife and Asian religions together.